initial person number of course so if you want to maintain uh, some number also we can go ahead with person creation duplicate check this is a this is also one of the important question in the interviews when we are hiring an employee if we try to enter some person details what are the fields the system should compare to verify the person the person details are duplicate duplicate check for the person details so do you want to go ahead with only verification of national identification number nid uh, remaining it's not a problem first name last name date of birth even if all are equal no problem just national identification number is different then we can say that it's a unique number or uh, do you want to compare this uh, last name first name first initial like like this we can go for combine so this fills so these are the different options if we say none system will not compare those details it will just go ahead it will just go ahead even if you enter the duplicate details also it will go for hiring process it will go for hiring process over here okay so that that's how generally the companies will look for first name last name date of birth or national id any of this option of course we can choose whatever the option is required for duplicate check this is so it's a person creation check here so this all fields related for uh, person details uh, number global person name language which language uh, you would like to capture the person name okay united states it's in english us english and oh uh, this is for global person name language okay because when we hire an employee there will be two records in employee table in the database back in one is the with the name of global another one is uh, with the local it's a normal name okay and after that we are going to have person number generation method initial person number and person creation duplicate check person creation duplicate check we are going to have okay so these all are related for person id or person number uh, no related uh, imported questions here it is and when it comes for the worker number here worker number generation these are different so worker number uh, will have manually you can enter worker number if we say yes we are using worker number we can say here manually we are going to enter worker number and then uh, automatic generation using legal employer sequence automatic generation using global sequence so when you want to generate the numbers we need automatic right but there you have legal employer sequences nothing but that legal entity sequence that legal entity sequence number it means unique numbers will be generated for that legal employer unique numbers will be generated for that legal employer and then when we go for global sequence global sequence that there you can have the unique number across the legal entities across the legal entities it is again another important question i would like to generate the worker numbers but those numbers those numbers needs to be generated unique across the legal entities then select global sequence what happened when you hire an employee here 77 next number 78 next number 79 then if you hire an employee here next one, employee yesterday 80, we discussed about next employee 81 another and, legal employee uh, tata security profiles we 81. have completed and 80 so today we'll talk about if you uh, hire an employee here and tata and, motors uh, 82 options. is already completed at the price level three manage enterprise uh, this cm information this we'll is global that. sequence So when so we go to the, the applications here, generated across the across the legal employers global sequence, then it's going to be generated. Then it's going to be generated over here. It is that that's if you say across the legal employers, I don't want to just uh, need an uh, for a particular legal employer. This is fine. So legal employer uh, sequence here. 
manual means manually worker number is generated. Not used means we don't want to use this uh, worker number over here. It is. This is how it will work. Okay. I'm going to say that not used. Most of the times person number will be used by the client. If they wanted to track the details at uh, legal employer level, then worker number also is generated. Okay. So this is about uh, the important thing between the person number and worker number setup. I made one uh, one of the important uh, video in our YouTube channel. Uh, practically how this number will be presented. You can just cross check here. RTL online person number. Manage enterprise HCM information. Uh, this is the task where we will find uh, enterprise level setups. So we can see some important uh, points here in the interview yes. point. Interview is also asking us this one. So we'll find enterprise name and address, uh, workday duration, yeah, nothing but office day time. Option we have discussed uh, workday yes, information is nothing but office timing. So yeah, manually. Find yeah. Worker yeah, number uh, generation, person number uh, generation. And I can also see okay. the table names. So, employee, employee worker number uh, yeah, generation option. is yeah. uh, basically generated at legal entity okay. level. Person number generated at Thank enterprise. You. That's level. about uh, when you hire a number, employee, you can uh, generate worker. two numbers. One is person number, another one is a worker case number. Here. Person number is mandatory. Person number is mandatory. Worker number is optional. Person number generated at enterprise level. For example, you have one company, Tata Motors, you have another company, Tata Finance. Okay, you are hiring employees for both the companies. So, person number is generated 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Okay, and uh, if you hire an employee, if you are going to maintain the worker number, let's say 77, it will be maintained here. 77, it will be maintained here. Next to 78, like that. So your employee will have two numbers, person number as well as the worker number. But worker number is optional, not mandatory. Person number is mandatory. Every enterprise should manage this. Every enterprise uh, should manage this options here. Okay. So you can have duplicate uh, worker numbers. You can maintain the duplicate worker numbers, uh, same number here.